Hi, this is Rockin' Robin. Welcome to Rockin' Robin's Garage Sale Finds. We are a channel that tells you all things about eBay, selling in different formats. Uh, today's episode is seven tips that will guarantee you more sales on eBay. Well, this is your first time here. We've been selling for 20 years and we sell a lot of stuff. We sell on eBay, we sell on Poshmark, we sell at the flea markets, and we sell on Facebook Marketplace. Now today I'm gonna to talk to you about seven tips that guarantee that you are going to make more money. So I don't wanna uh, beat around the bush today. I'm gonna to talk to you about those seven tips and then afterwards we're gonna do uh, some of the things we bought this week because I always like to show you things we bought because that will help you make more money if you know the types of things to buy. I'm also gonna give you our flea market tip of the week. So I'll have a lot of good things coming up. So you stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay, it's time. Seven tips. Tip number one for making, guaranteeing you're going to make more money. Be sure you're buying the right items at the right price. You could be buying the right items, but want the wrong price. Are you spending too much? Are you negotiating? When you buy items, you need to negotiate. You can't buy something for $10 and sell it for 20 and think you're going to make a lot of money because by the time they take out their fees, you made like $5. You need to buy the items as low as you can. Now that sounds simple. Everyone wants to buy them as low as they can, but have you ever seen an item and you're saying, I know I can sell that. And even though they're asking too much, you buy it because you know you can sell it. Is it worth your time? Are you really making a profit? Yes, you can sell it. You can make three bucks, but is it worth it? You need to either negotiate better and get better prices so that you make a bigger profit, or maybe you're just not buying the right items. Maybe uh, you're buying things that you like, but not necessarily what people like. Someone told me the difference between selling now and selling 30 years ago is 30 years ago, you sold things that people collected, people wanted. Now, you don't sell things people want, you sell things people need. There's things that they need. Maybe you collect it, maybe there's a few collectors out there, maybe you can sell it. But if you're selling things that people need, you're always making money. So think about that when you buy your item. Now, tip number two, that's gonna guarantee you make more money. Take better pictures. Don't just sit there and say, oh, my pictures are good. I did this. I did like, I tend to do that as well. I'm bad at that. What you need to do is you need to look at other people's pictures, say, how did they do it? What do I like? What is the best way to do it? Um, sometimes you can look at the pros. I mean, it doesn't hurt to look at maybe a, a, a Walmart or a, or a Target or whoever it is that sells those items and see how they presented it to the public. You know, they pay millions and millions of dollars for people to do their advertising because that's where they make their money. Now, uh, they know what they're doing. They've done studies. They've done things. Use it. If they, if they pose a shoes a certain way or they pose something another way, Think about doing that. If not, then just go through other people's eBay and see how they post them. What do you like the best? Which way do you like to present your stuff? Do you want to present it on a white background? Uh, eBay recommends a white background. That's always good. There's other things to present it as, depending on what it is. Look at other people's pictures, see what's the best. Believe it or not, the better the picture, the more it sells for, the faster it sells. I am guilty as anyone. I take a picture, I put it on something, I take a picture and I put it up. I'm going to have to think about taking better pictures and this way I can guarantee I make myself more money. Number three, double check your categories. eBay gets confused all the time. I recently had something up and I think it was a sporting good and I had it under clothes and it wasn't clothes. It was a baseball glove or something and they had it under like hand gloves. That's not going to help. Now, believe it or not, some people just look by category. Not everybody does, but double check your categories. Go through all your items. Make sure they're in the right category. I did that once with something and it was in the wrong category and I put it in the right category and it sold within 24 hours. I was like, wow, just a little change like that made more sales for me. So double check your categories. Number four, if you're on eBay, 
Think about increasing your status. There's all these different goals that eBay has and where you can be at different levels. Find out what you have to do to at least increase one more level. What it's gonna do is you're just gonna put your items more at the top. The more people see them, the more they're gonna buy them. A lot of people will go by price or by distance, but a lot of people just look at what's on top and say, these are the few that's on top, I like this one, and choose. Like Maybe they'll go through 10. If yours isn't in the top 10, they never even saw it. So look at what you have to do to increase your status in eBay. Uh, there's all kinds of different status depending on where you are, if you have a store or if you don't have a store. I'm not going to get into all of them. You need to read and see where you are and see where you need to go. But if you increase your status, you're going to increase your sales. Tip number five, offer free shipping. I know it kills me to offer free shipping. But what you have to do is you have to just increase your item by five or ten dollars whatever it's going to cost to ship if the item cost eight dollars to ship priority add eight dollars to your thing you're going to pay one way or another and people think they're getting a deal when they give free shipping now, i don't like to give free shipping because maybe i'm just sending it to two towns over but maybe i'm sending it to california and i'm in florida or connecticut and i'm in florida and it's far and it will cost more money. So that's why I don't always do free shipping. On big, big items, don't do free shipping. But when you can, offer free shipping. If it's something that can fit into a box and you know it's going to cost this no matter what, then offer free shipping and just raise the price up. You can make money other way, but it will increase your sales. Okay, number six, answer questions immediately. I see this all the time where people will ask a question and people don't answer or people answer three days later. By then, they bought somebody else's items. I've said this several times that once you lose the person, they're gone. You have to do things immediately. Answering questions is vital. You can't wait and say, I'll answer questions in two days. Oh, it's, it's Friday. I'll answer it on Monday. By then, they don't care anymore. So answer questions immediately when people ask it. Uh, within 24 hours, the sooner the better. If you can do it that same day or that hour, even better. But it will help you make more sales because they won't look at somebody else's and ask the same question that they answered back. You already answered back. So they'll look at yours more. So that's number six. Number seven, the seventh tip is cross post your items on Poshmark or Mercari. Don't rely on one way it's to sell. You want to increase your sales, you have to sell in various formats. You can't just say, well, I'm just going to sell on eBay and that's it. I started putting a few things up on Mercari. I had one sale. Hey, it increased my sale, right? By one. I put stuff on Poshmark. I don't sell that much of Poshmark, but sometimes I get sales all at once. And hey, it doesn't hurt. I'll take sales from as many formats as I can do. So I cross post. You just have to be sure you take them down once they sell. But I cross post on as many things as I can. I don't bring things to the flea market and put them on eBay. If I'm going to bring the flea market, I take them off eBay. But I cross post on Poshmark and Mercari. So let's review those seven tips. Be sure to buy the right items at the right price. Take better pictures. Double check your categories. Increase your eBay status. Offer free shipping. Answer questions immediately. And cross post on Poshmark. All right. Now, let's go take a look at some of the items that I bought this week. So now let's look at some of the things that I bought during the week to sell. I bought this copper fit for $3 at the Amazon troughs. Now I know copper fit is a big name and a lot of people buy and use copper fit. I don't know how it will sell. I'm going to find out, but for $3, I was able to get two of them. So $6 and we will see, I'm going to put it up and check out how much it's worth on eBay. But when you see items that have a good name that people buy, you need to buy them as well. So this is a phone charger and I have had some before. I got this also at the troughs. Uh, I got this for $3 as well and I put it up and it's about $19.99 plus maybe $3 shipping. Maybe I'll give free shipping. I don't know, but it's a good item to put up because a lot of people need these and they can be expensive. So make sure if you have not subscribed that right now is a good time to hit that subscribe button, the bell and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Okay, so what else do we have? We got this. This is a three-in-one uh, pet carrier. 
You can use it as a pet carrier. You can use it as luggage. You can use it as a backpack. It was really cool. I had never heard of the name Super Pets Rule, but I thought it was a great item. So I purchased that for $3. And I'm actually going to ask like $30 or $35 because it's, it's a very good item. And if I can't sell on eBay, I'm going to put it up on Facebook Marketplace. We always look for unusual chess sets. And we sell a lot of chess sets at the flea market. So this one was $3. It's a silicone. It's called Silicon. I am putting it up on eBay. And if it does not sell on eBay, I will bring it to the flea market. And I'm probably going to ask at least $25 or $30. It had all the pieces. It was very different. Sometimes the board alone for a silicon can sell for $20. So I'm going to ask at least $30. Here is a picture of what is inside the box because uh, you don't want to just see the box so that's what they look like they don't look like anything spectacular but they're cool and they're heavy and a lot of people like those and it comes all in that case so that's a really good thing to have it all in that case people like to carry it around it's not a big fancy set but it's one that i think people will like now the next thing we found my partner in crime loves instruments and this is a steel drum we found two of them at the thrift store for five dollars each they sell for $30 to $40, so we're going to put them up plus shipping and see what we can get for them. I don't know anything about drums or steel drums. Now it's time for our flea market tip of the week. Hey, this is Rockin' Robin, and it's time for our flea market tip of the week. This week, a lot of people ask me, I have price tags on things. You know, the little magic marker will be on the back of a toy or something. What can I do to get rid of them? Use magic eraser. Make sure you take all the price tags off. Don't try to just cover them with a sticker or put a magic marker over it. Get rid of it all. And it's really easy. Magic eraser, you can find some at the dollar store. So when you have an item and it has something, even if it's dirt, clean everything off. Clean it at a flea market or if you're on eBay. Use a magic eraser. This is Rockin' Robin and that's my flea market tip of the week. Okay, back to items we bought. This is a Seattle Seahawks shirt. It's a long sleeve shirt. And I got this at the troughs. I did a lot of shopping at the Amazon store today, this week. And I bought this. I got two of them for $3 each. I don't know if football season's going to happen, but if it happens, I really expect sports to be huge when they happen. Here's a, a different picture of it. That was more of a close up. And this is the long sleeve, how it looks when you see it complete it's really nice and it's brand new and i think seattle fans are going to love it so i bought this at a thrift store this is a mobile gas cap i'm not sure if it's new or if it's old i have a feeling it's more new but i liked it it had the the great symbol the pegasus on it and it had port uh mobile on the back and i thought this is a great hat that somebody out there probably collect and and hats are only like a dollar dollar fifty so they're a good price i got this at the amazon troughs this was just uh three dollars and it's a writing tablet i don't know too much about them they're not selling for as much as i thought maybe fifteen dollars free shipping i will make some money on it but i thought it was really interesting because it's not something that i run across all the time but when i did find it i gave it a try uh, i don't know if i would buy it again so i wouldn't rush out to look for them but if you find them cheap people will use them and people will buy them so that was that and now and the next thing i found this was a casemate now it said on the back that it was 55 dollars, and that was the reason i bought it i usually don't buy cases for ipads and ipros but this one had a big price on it but then when i went to look it up it was really closer to 10, 20 dollars or 15 dollars that it was selling for it wasn't selling for 55 like the price on the back but it was in good condition and here i'm showing you some of the back and the price and different things and you can see what it's all about. Uh, next time, I think I'm going to avoid. But I like to tell you things you should avoid as well because covers and different things for computers can be expensive, but this one was not. Now, I found the next item. This is a life jacket. I found this at a uh, garage sale, and it was only $2, and these sell for like $40, 45 So I put that up on eBay because it's a good item. And those are the items that we found this week. So did some of those items give you some ideas, some tips? I hope so, because as I've said before, if we want to help you make more money, you have to know what to buy. So those are some great things. 
Well, we'll be back on Monday with another great episode. So you stay with us. Don't you go too far. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. If you hit the bell, what happens is then you're notified we have other videos. So then you know we came out and you can look at us right away. You don't have to wait or say, gee, where are they? I got to find them. And if you give us the like, the big thumbs up, that helps us a lot because uh, you want to support our page. And those three things help support our page. So this is Rockman Robin. You have a whole weekend to go out there, look at stuff, find something good, put it up on eBay, and go make yourself some money. Do it. Have a good weekend.